Howdy friends, Russell here. Um, as many of y'all may remember, a couple days ago we had this TJ in here to re completely rebuild the uh, steering. Um, all the uh, tie rod ends were worn out. While we had it in, we also did the motor mounts, uh, transmission mount, and replaced the uh, Rough Country shocks with Bilstein's. Um, after driving it, test driving it a few times, I realized that uh, not only were our steering ball joints or tie rod ends worn out, but the bushing for the track bar uh, was starting to go. Um, and so what we're gonna do today is replace the track bar bushing. Actually, we're gonna replace the entire track bar um, because the ball joint is fixed on one end, so you can't replace it, so it makes no sense to replace just the bushings um, with a polyurethane unit or anything. So we're gonna install a brand new Moog track bar in this TJ and I'm going to set the camera up and we're going to get to work. Alright so James there is holding on to the track bar. It's identical on a TJ and an XJ. We're, that's what we're removing today. So to remove the track bar uh, it works best to have the suspension weighted because it takes the pressure um, off the track bar. What the track bar is doing is locating the axle laterally so side to side, um, and the bushing on the right side or the passenger side is what's worn out. So we've got to remove, and this track bar has been relocated uh, for the lift kit. So we've got to re we remove the nut and the bolt, um, and then uh, the ball joint at the other end of the track bar has to come out. So let's get started. Um, come over here and grab the other end, lift it up. No, the track bar. Alright, so it's this bushing in here that's worn out. Um, you can see, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but there's some slight tears in the bushing. And that causes the track bar to knock back and forth when you steer. Um, enough to concern me, not that bad, but enough to concern me that I want to replace it. i right, throw this out on the pile. Yeah. 
percussive percussive maintenance that's the term of the day percussive maintenance All right, so now I'm torquing the ball stud nut. It's 62 foot pounds, which is 744 inch pounds. So I'm using an inch pound wrench so I can get it in here. And like all the rest of the ball stud nuts, we'll torque it and then take it to the next castellation for the cotter pin. Axle side bolt gets torqued to 74 foot pounds. You're gonna have to spin it, you can't do it that way. No. Thank you. 
one of the aircraft. You know what? <laughs> You've already done all of it, so. Voila! Brand new track bar. It's easy as that, doesn't take too long to do, um, especially with the proper tools. One of the hardest parts of doing it is lining the, the axle back up for the new track bar because it does want to shift a little bit. And it's as easy as that. If you like this content, go ahead and like, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon for future notifications, and as always, there's more to follow.